Screencast-O-Matic is a free online tool to create screencasts. In other words, it records whatever is happening on your computer's screen as you narrate the process. This tutorial is an example of a screencast. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your own using Screencast-O-Matic. The first step is to open your browser and go to screencastomatic.com. Here's the address of the, that URL. Simply click the Create button to start recording. And it actually doesn't start recording right away. There are a couple of things you need to do before you start recording. Notice that this frame opens and I can move it around anywhere I want on my screen. Wherever you place it on your screen, the area that it encompasses is what will be recorded. The control bar for Screencast-O-Matic is located at the lower left base of this frame. So if I wanted to record a quick tour of the Library of Congress website for my students, I would simply click on that tab in my browser opening that page. And notice I left the Screencast-O-Matic window open in a separate tab and I'm going to be recording on a different one. I'm also going to move this frame a bit and resize it so that my students can see all that I want them to see. Once I've gotten everything positioned properly, all I have to do is go down to the Screencast-O-Matic controls and click record. Okay, students, here we are at the Library of Congress web page. You will go to this URL yourself. And what I want you to do is go to the Kids and Families page. And once there, I want you to go to American Memory and so forth. For the screencast tutorial, note that as I'm recording, you see a timeline down here. The Screencast-O-Matic tutorial has been going now for 36 seconds. You can go for a total of 15 minutes. At any time, I may click the pause button to pause my recording. What this allows me to do is to leave one site and go to another seamlessly. So if I wanted then to move and give them some instructions on VoiceThread, I could. Or I could actually open another piece of software. Say I wanted them to be looking at, I wanted to show them something in Word. I could then open a Word window and drag it into my frame and not have to have them watch that happening. Then all I do to continue my Screencast-O-Matic recording is press record. Okay, gang, once you have done your research, I want you to begin typing your outline in Word. And then you could continue. Once you have finished your Screencast-O-Matic recording, simply click Done. Then what you need to do is go back to your Screencast-O-Matic page in your browser, and you will see a preview window, which allows you to play the tutorial or the screencast you just created. And note, it's a minute, five seconds long. Also in this right hand column you have some options of what you want to do with this screencast. What you're going to do is export as a movie. But notice you can also go back to add more. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Once you have actually finished working on your screencast, when you've exported it as a movie, you will click done with this screencast. But let's take a look at the preview. Okay, students, here we are at the Library of Congress webpage. 
you will go to this URL yourself. And what I want you to do is go to the Kids and Families page. All right, so notice what Screencast-O-Matic does for you. It actually shows your cursor and has a halo around it to allow your students to see more clearly where you are going on the page. But let's say that I, I made a mistake or I want to add some information to this screencast. I can click Go Back to Add More. And what's great is I can go down here in my timeline or in the controls and click back in the timeline where that mistake was made or where I want to add material. I can press play to get the exact moment. Can memory. And then I could click the record button again and begin record re-recording. Now note, if I begin re-recording, I lose everything that I've done after that, but I can correct mistakes. If I click restart, that erases everything I've done and I have to start over from scratch. All right, once I'm done, I again click done. I can preview again. Once I'm sure I'm finished, I click export movie. And here we have a couple of settings. You're going to want to export it as an MP4 and then give it a title, Library of Congress Tour. The note field allows you to add typed notes at specific timestamps in your movie. So I could put this in at two seconds if I wanted to. I'm going to leave it the full size or I could rescale it to have just a certain width and notice all of the options I can add or remove for my cursor. So once I'm happy I click export and I tell it where I want it to go on my computer. Click save and it begins exporting. Once it's done exporting it will return that menu to me and I would click finished with this screencast. That's it.